and this will be the only video I ever mention my search techniques for shopping luxury and designer on eBay. I'm, I'm probably never going to share this again. How did I get this bag for $46? plus shipping. A little different style video for the channel today, but guys, part of the reason why I thrift and why I resell is to be able to afford luxury goods at a fraction of the price. And I've been amassing quite the luxury bag collection that I feel like I'm gatekeeping if I don't tell you guys some of the secrets to how to get Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Hermes even at a fraction of the price. So today I'm sharing all the secrets to how I get luxury bags at a fraction of the price and it's probably not what you think. When people ask what category I thrift and resell in, I always say vintage and designer, but if I had one choice, I would only sell vintage because while everyone might not see the value in a vintage item that I want to sell, nearly everyone sees the value in designer goods and the return on the investment. Who amongst us does not want to own their very own Birkin? Someday, someday. But today is not that day, so I need to be bougie on a budget. I need to have caviar taste with like a fish stick budget, all right? <laughs> so if you're like me and you like the quality of designer luxury goods and, and even vintage luxury goods, you're really going to enjoy this video because I don't want to spend a lot of money on those, but I have collected a lot. Obviously, one of the top places I'm going to tell you to look would be thrift stores. I have found so much vintage coach. If you know what to look for and how to authenticate this, I promise you vintage coach is going to be some of the highest quality leather you will ever set your hands on. Uh, these bags that I have are unlined leather. They surpass the quality of nearly every leather bag I've ever seen in my life, bar none. Let me explain to you. This unlined leather is suede on the inside. It is the suede side of it. This bag cost me $20 at a Goodwill, and I'll just insert some comps here so you know how much these are actually selling for. You cannot get this bag anymore, although Coach has made a remake of this line. This is true vintage from the 90s. It is absolutely fantastic, phenomenal leather. I have a video on how to authenticate this bag and any other vintage coach. I'm not going to walk you through authentication on this video, but I will link that below. And sometimes when you find these, they're not in this good a condition. The leather is not this shiny and crispy and moisturized. And I actually have a video on how to bring vintage coach back to life as well. So keep in mind, sometimes when you find it for 20 or $30, they're going to be in great condition, but other times they may have a lot of wear. This is actually another vintage coach I found at my local thrift store for $12. I am so obsessed with the brass hard wear of vintage coach if it has the hang tag on it the turn lock closure i love these it's kind of a fraction of the vintage coach collection but a few pieces that i wanted you guys to see i found this wallet as well it's a pretty non-assuming wallet on the outside and i can see why they didn't think it was anything special i think they had three dollars on this i recognize that great quality leather and when i opened it up sure enough there's the coach logo this is a fantastic wallet i'm actually going to have an upcoming video about authenticating vintage coach wallets because while I have this one that is amazing a friend of the channel actually sent me this one and while it does appear nice quality I have a reason to suspect that this one may be fake so if I determine this one to be fake which is what the viewer of the channel thought as well then I'll do a video coming up where I destroy this one to prove the differences in the two wallets very very close very similar in style but uh, this one just it's not doing it for me. Looking around at the bags I have here, it seems like the majority of the things that I find at the thrift are coach, but here is a newer coach bag that I found. It still has that same turn lock style. This bag is absolutely fabulous. I did pay up for this a little bit, but not nearly what it was worth. I mean, it still had the original tags inside. Absolutely perfect condition. Don't know if it was ever even worn. Kept it for my collection. I paid $20 for this at Goodwill, so it definitely wasn't marked up for or Goodwill, but at the time it seems like it was. It was like 2019 when thrift store prices were still a little bit lower, but for brand new coach, I absolutely had to do it. So gorgeous white pebbled leather on this one with a long chain. This is a fantastic crossbody bag. I absolutely love it. Keep your eyes peeled at thrift stores. I'm telling you guys, the, the possibilities are there. I have a Gucci bracelet that I found for $1 at my local thrift store. I will insert a comp here. This belt I found at a thrift store about 17 miles from here. They wanted $3 for it and I sold it for $300 over on Poshmark. It was vintage Gucci. 
I have found Versace hats at my local thrift store and I live in a town, to put this into perspective for you guys, I live in a town of 7,000 people. We have like two stoplights in our town. I am not in some big impressive uh, city or anything. In my small southeast Missouri redneck town of 7,000 people, I have found Versace and Gucci in my thrift store. The thing is you may not find it one day and you just have to keep going back. I only have one bag here that I bought off of Poshmark and surprise it's actually Vintage Coach again. I promise we're going to get into some real designer brands here but the Vintage Coach is just I feel like unmatched even when it comes to modern designer luxury. This one is kind of a more rare color. Um, I have not treated this bag yet. This is how it arrived to me. One thing about trying to shop designer on Poshmark though is often you're searching by brand. So if I type in Gucci on Poshmark the first I don't know, 100 or more listings are always either in search of items that people priced at zero or one dollar, or you get a lot of dust bags, you get a lot of little perfume samples, so on and so forth. And since Poshmark searches the description, you also get listings that have absolutely nothing to do with Gucci. It could be this Garmin watch and someone has written Gucci in the description and Poshmark pulls it up. I feel like it's such a pain to search on Poshmark. So I have certain criteria when I am searching on Poshmark. If I type in Gucci and I'm not looking for a dust bag or a gift bag or a perfume sample, the first thing I'm gonna do is filter by price and raise that to minimum $25, $30. You'd be surprised and you're gonna see in some of these bags and wallets and things that I'm going to show you. Occasionally you will find something for an astronomically low price. So I will filter out anything less than $25, $30 and then I'm going to filter by lowest price to highest and just search through. Poshmark has a lot of buyers also shopping for discounted luxuries so the buying competition is a little more stiff over there. If you're going to get a good deal you're going to have to be searching pretty regularly. But next I'm going to talk about eBay and guys you know I'm not into gatekeeping any information but I'm telling you you, I'm only gonna say this once so come close and this will be the only video I ever mention my search techniques for shopping luxury and designer on eBay I'm I'm probably never going to share this again because while I don't like gatekeeping I also don't like a ton of competition when I'm bidding on items on eBay honestly I can't even believe that I'm telling you guys this first up let's discuss buying items at buy it now prices over on eBay the way I search for discounted luxury buy it now prices I'm going to type in the brand, just Gucci. After I type in Gucci, I'm not going to click any of the suggested categories that eBay suggests. I want all listings for Gucci. If Gucci pops up and underneath that it says Gucci in women's handbags, unless a listing is in women's handbags, it's not going to show up to you. I want everything and I especially want the listing that someone who doesn't sell on eBay every day listed and it could be in the wrong category. I want everything that says Gucci. If I'm searching for buy it now versus auction, then I open up filter and I click on buy it now. From there, I will filter from lowest price to highest priced and start shopping. Occasionally at the very top, you are still going to see where eBay has filtered out certain listings. You need to click show all listings if that happens. I promise you, you have missed out on some luxury goods because eBay filtered them out and did not show them to you. Let me show you guys a couple examples of some really cool items that I got at a buy it now price and sometimes even buy it now or best offer on eBay. First up is is this vintage 1980s Gucci bag. It has the interlocking G logo and you can see stamped in the back is Gucci all over this bag. It is absolutely fantastic. Trimmed in leather. The colors are absolutely so 90s. Interlocking G stamps right on the hardware there as well as the hardware on the edges. Now one thing about this bag is that it had a repair and it's not really that great of a repair. It's not terrible but it's not that great. I bought this bag for $82 plus shipping, which I think is a heck of a deal. I mean, check out the interior in there. Uh, I was able to authenticate this from the pictures online. If you can't authenticate a bag, I don't suggest spending $82, $84 on something you can't authenticate. But if you're unsure, the bag arrives and then you determine it to be fake, you absolutely can open a item not as described case and let eBay know, hey, the seller represented this as Gucci, but it's actually counterfeit or knockoff. I actually had to do that once with 
birthday coach wallet my husband bought as a gift. When I opened it up, I could tell right away it was fake and I thought, there's no way I'm gonna tell him. I don't wanna hurt his feelings. And then later in the day, he outright asked me because he knows I'm kind of the authentication queen and he said, what do you think about the wallet? It's real, right? And I can't lie to my husband. I told him that it wasn't. Uh, the seller actually argued with us whether or not it was genuine and we had to go open a case on eBay, but we got all of our money back on that. We are gonna cover eBay's authentication guarantee a little bit later in this video. If you want to know outright without a doubt that you're getting a genuine product, there are still ways to buy on eBay and do that. But this little bag, after I bought it, she said, oh no, I discovered that there's a repair I wasn't aware of. I think you can see right there where the stitching is off and goes up and someone had repaired it there. She said, do you still want me to send you the bag? I said, absolutely. So I was happy about this. And again, less than $90 for this fantastic vintage Gucci. This is probably one of my favorite bags that I own. I actually added this acrylic chain and I added the little twilly scarf here just to protect the handles because this is a very shiny patent leather, but this is the Gucci Lady Lock. I think it is such a timeless silhouette, very reminiscent of like a Kelly or something. Check out that Gucci hardware on the front. You're going to pass out when I tell you how much I paid for this bag. Hang on, let's just open this up and show you the inside and all of her amazing red goodness here is so fantastic has a little gucci uh, charm here as well guys this was advertised as a broken bag because they weren't sure about how to clasp this and i'll be honest with you sometimes it does fly open randomly but it's never it's never been to the point where it's really bothered me i was able to pick up this gucci lady lock for a hundred dollars plus twelve dollars and eighty cents shipping so the word broken in the listing definitely helped me i've opened it a few times for you guys you can see nothing really broken about this it didn't come with the key there is an actual key where you could lock it if you want to but it's not in the locked position so that's really not a problem and it works just fine. One person's version of broken and mine may be two totally different things. And I'm willing to do a little conditioning and edge code and a little bit of work on a bag. So here's another tip I'm gonna give you a few keywords to search for when you are searching for designer bags broken or junk right now like pause this video if you want to and type in Louis Vuitton junk on eBay and see the type of listings that come up they need work they are project bags and they are at a huge discount oftentimes the junk bags are an auction though and so we're gonna cover some more of my tips and tricks about how to score designer bags at auction but first let me show you this wallet I found on eBay this thing is absolutely fantastic they have this at a pretty good price already or best offer and I made them an offer and kind of just crossed my fingers let me show you this wallet first gorgeous interlocking G hardware here I knew I was buying this for me and not to resell the snaps are great no peeling on the insides peeling and stickiness uh, especially inside Louis Vuitton is something you want to look for um, in a secondhand bag especially a vintage bag raising this up oh my goodness gracious look how gorgeous this is quick little thing on Gucci wallets you will see Gucci embossed here and then somewhere inside you're always going to see a serial number where is it on this one it is it is right here. You can see a little set of numbers right there. That is the Gucci serial number and you're not gonna find a Gucci wallet that doesn't have that on it. But guys, I made them an offer of $100 for this wallet. 100 bucks. Do you know how much a Gucci wallet is new? Not $100. This thing is fantastic and I feel like it would be a really good candidate for a wallet on a chain as well if you looped a chain through this part and then you could wear it as like a little crossbody situation or something if you just needed to carry the basics. But how did I get this bag? This timeless Gucci web tote. I'm not even a tote bag fan. This one may end up for sale at one point but I used it as my carry-on on a flight to New York and I felt bougie as can be. How did I get this bag for $46? plus shipping four six not even 50 bucks on this let me show you the corners before you assume that it's one of the junk bags or there was something severely wrong with it nope she's good oh the inside you need you need to see the inside of it because she's spotless inside as well and yeah we're authentic everything checks out on this bag trust me I have went over it with a fine tooth comb $46 on this 
And how did I get this vintage suede bamboo handle Gucci backpack for $65? These were auction items, guys. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I score these auctions and the steps I take because it's never failed me. You don't just pull up eBay on a random Tuesday and get a bag like this for $65, okay? There is a process. Why am I telling you guys this process? This suede Gucci belt, I bought several years ago, a brown one, a black one, and a blue one, all in a pack for 30 bucks. Got those on eBay at auction. And this past winter, I found this gorgeous vintage interlocking Gucci belt buckle for the belts for 97 bucks. Last one I'll show you before I tell you how I do it, because this little vintage Louis Vuitton wallet was $29. $29, guys. I have a larger Louis Vuitton wallet that I carry that I also got off of uh, eBay. This one is going to end up for sale. There's That's the wear that I'm telling you happens in a lot of vintage Louis Vuitton. And then recently I just gave away a Louis Vuitton wallet here on the channel when we hit 20,000 subscribers. But this thing is clean as a whistle. It's so nice. Louis Vuitton branding on the buttons here. Louis Vuitton inside and literally outside of that little bit of wear inside, she's perfect. Her corners are even impeccable in my opinion for $29. You cannot go to Walmart and get a wallet for $29. I need you to come close again. And, and honestly, I don't even want to share this information until you've checked down below and double check that you've subscribed to the channel. Okay. Turn your bell notifications on because if I'm willing to share information like this with you, just imagine the wealth of knowledge you're going to gain from the channel. You won't be sorry. Hurry up and subscribe. I will wait. And then I'm going to tell you how I do it. Okay. You're subscribed. Wait, hang on. One person didn't do it. Seriously. Get down there. Hit subscribe. Now that everyone is subscribed on our system, I'm going to start by telling you my two best days to search for auctions ending on eBay. Number one, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt is Sunday. The majority of luxury auctions that I see on eBay end on a Sunday. It is a proven day. If you are auctioning something off on eBay, running it at a seven day auction from Sunday to Sunday has always proven most beneficial. People just have that extra time on Sunday night, especially that is when you want to look for these items. So on Sunday night, I am going to type in Gucci. From there, I am going to filter and click auction. It's really important that we're just looking at auction items here, all right? X out of filter, and we're gonna sort by ending soonest. You see there's only 47 seconds left on that one, 42 minutes left on this one. I am actually doing this on a Sunday night. If you do this on a Wednesday evening, if you do this Wednesday in the middle of the day, it's not going to happen like this. But let's say I want the really, really cheap stuff. I can actually filter price. I can say I want to know every Gucci item that is ending soon that is under $50. There are a thousand results, you guys. And from here, I can take my pick. Look at this wallet, $40, zero bids on it right now. If I wanted a Gucci wallet, I'm telling you, this one looks like a contender. Look at this. The corners are in excellent shape. Inside is in very good shape. That is authentic Gucci. I can tell you guys, this one is genuine. It is going for $40. Should I bid on it? I love that vintage interlocking G there. Uh, 39 minutes left on this one. And you guys missed it. All of those items that I just showed you that I bought at auction on eBay, that is how I bought them. I looked on a Sunday night. I filtered by auction and filtered by ending soonest. And then I don't want to have to scroll through everything to see the $20 items. So my limit may be that night $100 and less. I want to see everything that's ending that is a, currently $100 or less. I want to see everything that is ending that is $150 or less. You know what your budget is on any given day. So be sure that you turn on that filter. By the time I scrolled all the way down to the listings that were ending in 39 minutes, that one might not have been there. It may have already ended. If you're nervous about authenticating items yourself, either through the photos online or once the item arrives, I can completely understand and appreciate that. I want to tell you about eBay's authentication guarantee program. This video is not sponsored in any way. I, I just want to explain to you as a buyer of luxury goods or even as a seller of luxury goods, how that program works exactly. This is the fancy little dust bag that you'll get with your purse or handbag should you buy an item through eBay's authenticity guarantee. And this is actually the purse that I received through eBay's authenticity guarantee. Now my husband bought this bag as a Christmas present to me. It is absolutely flawless. I know he paid up for this, but I also know he didn't pay what Louis Vuitton would have charged him in the store. And let me just say, he knows that the Alma is my absolute favorite shape in Louis Vuitton. And he knows that the Damier print is something 
something that I love over the monogram. So the fact that he put those two together to get me this dream bag, I never would have bought this bag on my own. It did come through eBay's authentication guarantee though. He doesn't have the experience and expertise of authenticating items himself though. So for this to be able to come through eBay's authentication guarantee was definitely worth it to him for the peace of mind. And it may be worth it to you too. So how exactly does that program work? Currently eBay's authenticity guarantee covers sneakers, purses, watches, jewelry, streetwear, and trading cards. But today we are obviously specifically talking about purses. Now similar to Poshmark, the eBay authenticity guarantee is on bags that are $500 or more. So had this same bag been available for $200, it would not have went through eBay's authenticity guarantee. Not every handbag that is listed for over $500 has to go through authenticity guarantee. There's actually a list of brands. A few of the brands on their list, Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Bottega Veneta, Burberry, Celine, Chanel, Chloe, Christian Louboutin, Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, Givenchy, Gucci, Hermes, Jimmy Choo, Judith Lieber, Prada, Versace, Valentino, Tom Ford. There's a pretty sizable list here, but it doesn't, again, cover. If you wanted to go to Target and buy a bag and sell it for $500, it's still not gonna go through eBay's authenticity guarantee. The item does have to be on that brand list. Conversely, if you buy a bag that is on this list and you list it $500 or more, you cannot opt out of this. If you're trying to buy a bag and you don't want it to go through authenticity guarantee, Again, even as a buyer, you cannot opt out of this. And many of the sales that go through eBay's authenticity guarantee are final sale. An item is final sale if it is either new with tags or new without tags. So if you're listing in one of these categories and you think the bag is new, to avoid the return of a used bag, ensure that you say it is either new with tags or new without tags and that will mark it as final sale. The buyer actually cannot return it. So an interesting thing to know as a luxury bag buyer, you cannot claim that this item is not as described because eBay is going to have their hands on it themselves. If you buy an item and it is new with tags or new without tags, final sale and eBay authenticates it and sends it to you, that is final sale. There are no returns. eBay's authenticity guarantee is not a global program at the moment. Actually, interestingly enough, you either have to be buying the bag from a US seller or a Japanese seller, and it has to be sold to, again, a US seller. So if you are anywhere other than the United States, this is not even gonna cover you. If you are in a US territory, an APO, this is actually not going to cover you. No bags sent through GSP or to any US territories are eligible. I suppose maybe that alleviates the uh, possibility of the box being tampered with in shipping, possibly, but whatever the reason is, it has to be from either a US or Japanese seller to a US buyer. There are many authentication companies out there, but for this service, eBay's own team is actually authenticating these bags, and there is no additional fee to the buyer or the seller. Signature is always required on delivery with these purchases. If eBay deems the item inauthentic, then the buyer gets a full refund, including shipping, including taxes, full refund, and the item is actually sent back to the seller. But if the item passes, eBay boxes it up. The presentation is spectacular. I received this bag with the actual dust bag, the Louis Vuitton dust bag, and this eBay dust bag in a very large, substantial box, authenticity guaranteed, and it has a tag on it. There's like NPC technology where you can scan the tag itself. You can electronically scan the tag and be taken to a page where they will show you the uh, details about the bag and that it was in fact deemed authentic. So if you're a seller and you have any concerns about how uh, eBay actually boxes up the item and sends it to your buyer. Trust me, we have purchased several items, um, sneakers and purses from eBay, and they have always arrived in fantastic condition. Tissue papers laying over everything is, is a presentation when you get those items. eBay always does a good job shipping. What if you bought an item and it wasn't final sale and you get it? It's for some reason or another, you need to return it. The seller accepts returns. Well, you you actually have to ship this item back to the authenticator. That's a lot of good news for sellers. That keeps buyers from receiving an authenticated item and then shipping back something that is not. The process happens in reverse. If you ship to the authenticator as the seller and the buyer receives it, they don't want it, you do accept returns. They, again, have to hit that middleman first. eBay has to authenticate that this is the exact item they looked at before. That tag has to be intact and then it gets shipped back to you. So keep that in mind as a buyer and as a seller. If you guys thought the deals I was getting on eBay were insane, 
buckle up because I've been shopping luxury on whatnot and I can't believe some of these deals. This bag I actually showcased in an unboxing. I was comparing the whatnot unboxing experience with direct from Gucci. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it below also. But this Louis Vuitton Alma, and look at this. This is impossible to find, I feel like, with this Vincetta leather. Completely intact corners for the most part. Okay, this one's got some wear. Guys, I spent like $80, I want to say, on this. I, I can't remember exactly at the moment, but the inside of it is in fantastic condition. Uh, I, I want to say it was $86, but I think I give the details of it in that video. I bought this on Whatnot at auction in the middle of the day. I want to say it was like a Tuesday. They had a Project Tuesday or something. Project bags are, again, the bags that have some flaws, but this one went way too cheap. I bought this pink Gucci wallet, again, with fantastic interlocking Gs. This one needs to be cleaned up. I have not cleaned it up yet, but interesting thing about this one, it is a Japanese exclusive, and it does actually have a monogram on it, though. The monogram is N-O. No, <laughs> but I gave like $27, I think, for this wallet. It is really in great condition. Very little rubbing. Again, Japanese exclusive pink Gucci wallet. Bought this on Whatnot. If you're not already buying on Whatnot and you want to get a vintage Louis Vuitton Alma for less than $100 and a Gucci wallet for less than $30, and this Gucci came from Whatnot, I will link below also. Another link that is going to be in the description is where you can get $15 for free to shop on the app. If you've never shopped on Whatnot, click that link, create a profile as a new buyer and you're gonna get $15 for free. So a wallet that was 30 bucks is now gonna be 15 for Gucci, okay. This one came from Whatnot. It is uh, the webbed pattern in canvas. Check out the corners, a little bit of wear. Okay, we're not talking about perfect bags. This one was perfect, but remember, we paid up for that one. Uh, this one I did not pay up for, less than, less than $30 on this one as well for Gucci. And again, gonna show you guys the serial numbers on that one. This is in crazy good condition, and look, these two kind of match each other, like they could be friends. Three more pieces that I found on Whatnot. I am always finding, always finding colorful epi leather pieces. And look at, this one is yellow, little bifold wallet with a purple interior. Oh my gosh. I bought this thinking I may put it inside this bag just for that little pop of color. I love the purple in this one. And check out what good condition the leather is inside this one. I got this one for $36 on Whatnot, guys. $36. It's fantastic but not to be outdone by the orange one. <laughs> Little snap here, and again, really, really great condition, guys. The thing on Whatnot is, if there is coin residue in here, then the seller is gonna do what's called a call out, or if they don't, ask them for any call outs or defects on the bag before you bid. You do not have the same opportunity that you do on eBay to look through 12 to 24 photos. You are going based off of them talking about it like this. Would you buy this based off of what I've already shown you? Who knows what I might have covered up or disclosed. So if you ask, hey, any call outs, any rubbing on the corners, anything specific that you are wanting to know about, ask for those things on whatnot. Should you receive an item on whatnot and it's not in its described condition, you absolutely can return it, but you're gonna have to go through customer support on whatnot. One more little Gucci wallet that I got on whatnot. This is a bamboo snap Gucci. Now this one, one of the call outs was that the uh, button that didn't work very well, but look at this. It was worth it. I thought I, I could possibly fix the button or pay a cobbler to do so. Look at this wallet and she is so fantastic. Again, it has a monogram on it, but little vintage Gucci bamboo wallet. This one I will probably sell and I am having a little bit of trouble remembering exactly how much I paid for this one. I don't ever pay more than like 30 to $40 on them. I assure you that, unless I'm gonna keep it for myself. One of the biggest and most important things to remember is should you ever receive a fake item from any any of these marketplaces don't feel like you are stuck with that. It is not only an offense of the seller on the platform that you're buying on, it is actually illegal in this country to sell counterfeits. We're talking not about a rule, but about a law. So don't ever feel like you are stuck with that bag. I promise you, you can get your money back. And there are places that you can report counterfeit goods being uh, sold. If you were sold a counterfeit good, you can go to the FTC website and definitely report that website. You can report that seller. It is not okay to try to 
to stick you with a fake item if you receive it in the mail it's not as described most of these platforms are going to work with you very very quickly but should you get stuck in a corner and just understand you do have some options i'm very excited about the last place that i want to tell you guys to find luxury on a budget and that's because this company is kind of new to me and we're actually going to do a live unboxing here recently a company called teddy blake reached out to me inviting me to shop their website and agreed to send me any product i wanted for free not one to pass up a good deal i picked out what i felt like was a fairly expensive bag and guys it just arrived this bag retails on their website for 545 dollars but they say that it is comparable to a 1530 dollars bag we'll see if that's true let's go through every first impression here pretty sizable box and honestly it's pretty heavy now teddy blake claims that their bags are only the finest italian leather and that the bags are actually handcrafted oh there's a huge branded box in here i know luxury so we're going to determine whether or not this is truly a luxury bag oh that was a big box little magnetic flap here Let's open it up. Let's get to the good stuff. What is this? Teddy Blake designer handbags made in Italy. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. Now they do have a few styles that are actually custom order and some of them can take 11 weeks to process. It's a crocodile leather bag that they have on their website. So if you want something super unique and luxury, definitely check that one out. With a little tissue paper here, moving that over. Here is the bag that I picked out. What color do you think that I chose? I was back and forth. I did pick out a few pink handbags, but at the end of the day, I really wanted this color for the fall. Comparing the Teddy Blake dust bag with the Louis Vuitton dust bag, like they're definitely equally soft, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that the Teddy Blake might be a bit thinner, definitely lets a little bit more light in, um, but pretty comparable in quality, I'm gonna say. Here it is, camel color, you guys this style if this doesn't remind you of a certain bag silhouette I think that that is a timeless style of bag and I appreciate this brand's uh, take on it we have Teddy Blake branding here at the bottom and these gorgeous closures here we have Teddy Blake tags here and I want to show you guys how this bag actually opens it is a little stiff. It's like a fine leather, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to tear it up. But it's kind of like when you get a nice baseball glove. How you got to break it in a little bit. <laughs> the bag might need to be a little broken in. Let's take out the tissue. Oh, there's a strap. Oh, good. Okay, so you can wear it crossbody style too. There is a strap in here, and this is the inside of the bag. I think this one is lined in. Yeah, it's lined in a microfiber. So it's not suede inside. It is a microfiber lining. Teddy Blake branding again on the inside of the bag we're gonna look this over together and see is it a $500 bag is it what as they claim truly like a $1,500 value of a bag does it look handmade does this look like a good quality leather all right first impressions are everything guys uh, look at the feet on the bottom of this they are covered with plastic here to keep those nice and shiny until I take that off and this is a beautiful pebbled leather now I don't know that any of their leather is a top grain choice but I don't know that it's not not either I mean this definitely looks like a very nice leather but it could very well be embossed pebbled leather I did see that guy that like slices apart the designer bags he did some of these Teddy Blake bags and even he said that he felt like the value was there in this one but I want to know my opinion about this bag so let's look real closely at the stitching One of the things I always tell you guys to look at on luxury bags is the stitching. You're not going to get shoddy workmanship. You're not going to get uh, poor stitching on a designer bag. Look at that top stitch locked over there. That is really nicely done. I am looking because I'm sure like for $500, we're probably, that's more like a, I would say coach quality, okay? We're probably going to find a stitch or two possibly out of place. You know, it's not going to be perfect. I don't expect it to be Hermes for $500. So let's look over it and see what stitch is out of place. What can we find that is wrong here? Like, I'm not trying to let them off easy, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to find something wrong with this bag. The hardware is very nice. I, I think maybe it could be a little bit heavier, but it is a nice hardware. And I've seen a few of these for sale and sold on eBay. A lot of these do hold their value and I've not seen like tarnished hardware or anything. 
Guys, I have been looking over this bag for a solid 10 minutes probably, and I have yet to find a stitch that is out of place. Like, I don't know if I, okay, let's just compare that real quickly. If I were to look at this vintage Gucci, and we know that it's it's vintage and has had the repair, but I feel like if I searched hard enough on this bag, I could probably find like, you know, a random stitch that just doesn't look like the others. I feel like I could find something that is, you know, a bit imperfect here. Like these stitches are a little longer and those are a little shorter, all right? Even if it's something small like that. But I have been looking over this bag and I can't find anything like that. It does look like it's hand sewn and let me explain to you why. These stitches are not uh, perfectly all facing the same direction but that's actually something that you rarely see in luxury designer because even Louis Vuitton is made on a machine. So you have to get to the level of like an Hermes bag before you see, before you see this I feel like. <laughs> I honestly wasn't ex expecting to be this impressed with this bag. Um, I, I don't, I mean, it's hard to say what the long-term wear of a bag like this is going to be, but first impression, it is absolutely worth, I would say, quality and uh, construction of materials and everything. I'm going to say it's worth what they're asking on their website, and it's probably truly worth the price that they compare it to. It's, it's more, I mean, gosh, guys, like even the edge coat, like everything about this bag is pretty daggum flawless. I know a lot of people will tuck this in and kind of like wear the bag sloppy and opened. I don't know if I'll carry it like that or not. I may possibly, but I know I'm going to be carrying this thing. Honestly, guys, the quality of construction of this is kind of unmatched in this price point, in my opinion. I feel again like the, the price point here compares with a really nice all leather coach or Kate Spade bag. And again, to compare it with this, you know, more modern coach bag, I, the attention to detail is not there even in coach as it is this bag. There's, I mean, having, having these little lock stitches down here is just such a detail that I'm noticing that I'm, I'm super impressed with this bag, you guys. So Teddy Blake boasts that they have a lot of designers that were pitched from large luxury designer companies. So a lot of their designers may be used to work for big, well-known companies. When I was shopping on the website, I was overwhelmed by how many bags and how many colors were available in every bag, but they also released new collections every single month. So if you are shopping on the site and you don't see anything that you like, keep looking back. You may discover your dream bag on that site. My contact at Teddy Blake promised me that this is really fine Italian leather, that it is treated and dyed to withstand the test of time. So I'm gonna put it through some stuff. I will update you guys in a future video about how this bag is wearing. Um, I will do my best to carry this bag as often as I can for the next month, just to see truly how it's wearing without babying a whole lot. They promised bringing luxury to everyone, luxury on a budget, uh, paying attention to those little details that you don't get until you are past mid luxury and into like fine Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. And guys, I really feel like they delivered. You're not getting a brand new Louis Vuitton for $500 but you're getting the same quality here, which is just kind of insane to me. I know they have a big sale coming up. I'll put a link below in the description to that sale. They were also kind enough to give me a discount code for $30 off your order. So that'll be down below in the description also. Thank you, Teddy Blake, for this fine luxury bag and for sharing $30 off with everyone here at the channel. Tell me below what stone I left unturned, what question you still have about buying luxury designer on a budget, whether you're buying these items to keep and I keep a lot of them or you're buying them to resell, there's so much money to be made. You can get luxury designer and vintage on the sites that we're currently selling on and you can get it for pennies on the dollar. Thanks so much for watching this video. God bless and remember, treat your business like your business.